Today I'm here on my first YouTube video. Yes, I'm so excited to tell you about these dress. Yes, my mom. I feel like a real Rastafari, y'all. Like I, I'm really in my bed. Like I'm really on, you know, out the jungle. Like, bo, 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 bo. you know what I'm saying? Like, but you know, I'll show you how to make these today. So this whole weekend or whatever, I was walking around my mom and my little niece and people was like, come on, so where you get your goddess locks from? Where you get your box locks? And I'm like, actually, I had made these. Like, yes, it took me two days, but I did it, ma'am. Yes, I did. And I'm coming to you guys today to show you how to make them because this lady in Florida, Tampa, Florida, yes, she was trying to charge me $400. $400. No, and I'm not with it. Like, ever since I joined the military back in 2012, and I was was somewhere where I didn't know anybody that did hair. I told myself, I'm gonna invest in myself. So I'm gonna learn how to do every hairstyle that I like, I'm gonna learn how to do it. And that's how I got to learn how to do hair and do hair. And I'm a YouTube junkie, so I watch YouTube all day. And I kept researching and researching and researching and trying to find out how to do these dreads because I seen this lady on Instagram called Gypsy Locks. Y'all go check out her locks are so amazing. And I was like, I have not seen anybody locks like they look so real. And so I finally came across a couple of videos and I still didn't find quite what I needed. And I just put two and two together and I came up with my own way. So I'm gonna show y'all today. And y'all gonna love it. And you can go slay somebody else hair or your own hair, girl. And I am selling these. So if you wanna buy some, just hit my email below. And you know, go ahead, check me out. You know, check me out. You can look, you look if I like it. So let's jump into this video. Here you see I have tied my weave extensions onto my wig stand just so that I could create the loop that allows you to crochet this hair into your own hair. And I'm simply just backcombing. That's what this process is called. You simply just backcomb the opposite direction which would easily make the extensions knotty as you see so here and you just use either a comb you can use a lice comb also you can also use a pet comb which works really well the ones that you groom your pets with and um or just a you know small tooth comb and then i also use my paddle brush in there you will see that in the beginning i use a paddle brush to speed up the process and towards the end i'm pulling the hair back comb and pulling it out back comb and pulling it back comb because you want to create that length that you need to get that desired look see the desired look that um from when it goes from big to small and so you'll see i, I just keep going in and you want to make sure you know your back comb and your knots are consistent like you want to get this thing like rudy old-fashioned not knots like oh girl ugh, yeah Whoever thought they wanted their weed to be nappy, girl. This is the time that you want to get nappy roots, yes. Yeah. So just keep going in there and get a consistent knot throughout your whole, um, you know, extension or have you so. So yeah, I'm just gonna continue this process and just keep, you know, keep it on. And right here, you see that I'm like pulling it and then going back in and pulling it. So yeah. That's just how your finished product should look. Now, here is the second step. Now, you're going to sit there and you're going to twist, twist, twist. Make sure you get tw tight twists because the better the twist is, the better the dread. And a lot of people make the mistake of like twisting it real soft. So, when then they go to put the iron on it, it doesn't stay and the steam won't lock in that dread. So, are you going to do? Yeah, you're going to just keep twisting here. Twist, twist, twist. And twist from the top. Because you want your dread to look as one. I'm going to put my towel over it. I'm going to take my iron and make sure you hold it where you stop twisting that as I was pointing. I'm going to spray your water bottle on it. Spray, 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 spray. Okay, and I'm going to take my iron. And I'm going to put it right on top of that, um, you know, the towel. And you want to do this until the sizzle goes out. And people make the mistake of, you know, 
Why am I dress unraveling? Well, your dress are probably unraveling because you didn't let it sizzle all the way. So therefore, the that ste you need that steam to lock in the dread. That's the way you're gonna lock in that dread. And if you don't have if you don't have that steam, it's not gonna work. Your dress is gonna keep unraveling. Right now, it looks a little tacky, but just keep going, keep going. You're gonna see me go over a couple of times because I don't, you know, I wanted to look how I wanted to how it to look. So. Essentially, all you do here is repeat this process till you get to the end of the dread. So, we're going to go ahead and fast forward this video up, it's, you know, so you can see the ending results. Okay, so after you're done ironing or whatever, you should have a dread look like this. Look at this beautiful purple dread. Yeah. And if you want them real neat, you can go in and snip the little frizzy edges. But personally, I love the frizzy edges. Here is where you want to have your loop so you can crochet. So I'm going to demonstrate that now. So have a dread that you can crochet. Take your crochet needle. So don't do it right here. Stick it through your hair. Put this right there, close the latch, come back through, unhook it, put the dread through there. And you can choose if you want your loop to be big or small. I just used my um, wig maker because it was just for demonstration purposes only. And yeah, it looks crazy because it's purple and it's in the front, but boom. Wow, wow, thoughts with a touch of purple. Yes. And that concludes my videos. Make sure you subscribe and check out next week for a new video. Thank you. I know my dress looks different from how they look on the fo the photos. is because I recorded and did those. This is like when I first did them. But this is a way to make, like, this is an additional step if you wanted to make them look really real. They have, like, the hairs coming out, like, the, all the baby hairs and, the you know, the curly sues, which my best friend Clayboss calls them, the curly sues. Yeah, I'm going to show you how to do that. So, basically, you just take some weave human hair, synthetic hair of a, you know, of a curl that you like. And this is just some hair I had laying around from, like, three, four, four weeks ago. And I just cut it off the track. And you crow like you literally just crochet it like wherever your part is or in the front. So you don't want to go through all out your head because that's just you do. This is just doing too much if you do that. Like if you want to look natural, I literally just put the hook in here, put the hair on the hook, close the latch. I'm sure you guys know how to crochet, but I'm just showing. You. Come through and tie it. That's all I do. Probably wanna. Tie it twice so it can stay, or you can either use some nail glue. But y'all know nail glue is hard to come off. And so I know it looks crazy, but the finished results are like, oh my god, so amazing! And you just keep doing that until you get the desired look that you want.